Hello, everybody, and welcome to an interesting video where me, Garrick, and Six are all going to talk about our experiences in California. How's it going, guys? I mean, we just saw each other, but now it's the weekend after the event. What you know? How, how you doing? Still recovering from the shock of seeing your face, but you know, I'll <laughs> make it. Oh God, the horror of seeing you two in real life, as opposed to just your voices, which is also bad enough. Yeah, so this, this is also like nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> yeah, it, pretty much. We hate each other. There, were, unfortunately, there were no fist fights that we managed to record oh, uh, yet. But the event was sponsored by my.com. It was their press event. We went down to California. We got flown down by the company, uh, mainly because of our Skyforge guides. We were contacted by the guys from Skyforge at the beginning of the month to do some guides. They then invited us to come down to this event, which was celebrating the launch of both Armored Warfare and Skyforge, even though the Skyforge open beta happened way earlier this year. However, this was the first time that like the three of us plus um, Excelsius, our web designer, also kind of like met. So it was really cool to to go down. So we're just going to kind of go over the stuff that we did and the stuff, some of the stuff that we saw. We can't talk about some of the Armored Warfare stuff until the 28th. There'll be another video. Ooh. Secrets. Yeah. Secret, Ooh. secret. I've got a secret. They they were totally filming a ton of stuff, so we'll have be real on that and all that good stuff. However, I will put Armored Warfare in the background, so that's the game that you guys are currently seeing while we talk about this. So let's kick it off, right? Uh, we flew in on the twenty first, which was Wednesday morning. Uh, how was how was your six, or how was how was your oh. flight six? <laughs> My flight <laughs> Ooh. nailed it. <laughs> The well, I had one layover, so my first flight was was decent because it was only fifty minutes, so that one went quick. Uh, the second one, however, was four and a half hours long. Right, and luckily and you're flying from Philly. Yeah, I was flying flying from Philadelphia to California, so that's quite a long ways. But generally, my flight was uneventful. I did get some good reading in. Uh, Garrick recommended a new book from uh, the Lightbringer series, which, which I recommend. So, Very good book so far. But very but uneventful. Other than that, uneventful. Yeah. yeah. And so, so was ours. Uh, me and Excelsius flew out of Nevada. It was about two hours total. Uh, it's about an hour out to Salt Lake and then about an hour and like 20 minutes back to Santa Ana, which is where we flew into. If you guys don't know where that's at, it's uh, basically just south of LAX. It's all within LA. Uh, we 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 were in Irvine, and which is next to Anaheim, which is where Disneyland and all that's at. So we were pretty close to all of that at geography wise. So ours was really uneventful. Uh, what about you, Garrick? Because I think I remember hearing a couple stories. Meanwhile, in direct flight land. <laughs> yeah. Um, <you're> <laughs> so my flight was pretty early. I was the first one to go out, but uh, I was I was almost late because of Atlanta traffic. Thank you. Uh, and then uh, made it onto the plane, you know, in time. Sat down, middle seat, of course, uh, in between these two guys who must have been on some kind of, I don't know, reunion thing. But one of these guys must have been 65 or something. And for close to three hours, he was just <laughs> chewing gum with his mouth open on the plane <laughs> flight. Uh, uh, so that was a bit of a nightmare, but I got to the hotel first, and I got to report back to you guys the uh, luxury conditions. Yeah, you jerk. And uh, wander around a little bit while I waited for everybody to show up. And then uh, my hotel room kind of became the ground zero for the first OSW guild meetup. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was... It was, it was interesting, that's for sure. It wasn't awkward, though. I think the way that you put it as it, it was it was business as usual. Like, all, all business just continued as it normally was. There was no, like, any difference, which yeah. is, it's good that it wasn't super weird. Uh, yeah, we, yep. we showed up, like, four hours after you did. Um, Six landed, like, right behind me and Excelsius, and then we just went over to the, um, the hotel from there. There was some stuff along the way that were kind of funny with the shuttle that was shuttling us back and forth, being super late and leaving as soon as we got there. But overall, we stayed at Hotel Irvine. You guys can look it up. It's really, 
It was really quite nice. They put us in each of our own hotel rooms, which Shockingly. I wasn't expecting. Yeah, I was expecting. To yeah, just, that's uh, expensive. I was expecting to snuggle up with both of you on one bed. I don't know. That was so. That was pretty good. Otherwise, yeah. yeah I mean, <laughs> he we left didn't have to do that. It, yeah, I was yeah, sad. he was very disappointed. But that night, because uh, we had a couple hours to chill and kind of just chat, but that night we went to a quote-unquote barbecue at the hotel put on by the Armored Warfare guys. It was more or less just a meetup thing uh, and get some grub before a really long day the next day. There wasn't really anything that happened that night aside from us realizing that there was only about 10 English-speaking people, like natively speaking <laughs> people, yeah. uh, at the event. And we were four of them. The 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 other people were from France, uh, Germany, Norwegian. They were Norwegian and they were Russian. So that was kind of the other like countries that were represented. But there were, I I heard some for sure Australians, and definitely British. So that's that kind of made up the general population of everybody that was there. So it was it was certainly an eclectic group of press and other YouTuber that was with our group. <laughs> Technically, there was one other YouTuber with us. But uh, yeah, that was that night. Then we went to breakfast and we met a really cool guy. What was his name, uh, Garrick? What, what? 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 I don't. I don't quite remember. I don't. I don't remember his last name, and I wish I could credit him properly. But his his name was his first name was Paul, and he wrote for I think Playboy and Gamer Crate. So Paul, if you're out there, <laughs> awesome. please contact us. <laughs> yeah, hit us up on Twitter at OSW Guild because we want to be friends with you because you were cool. He was wearing an awesome Boba Fett T-shirt. And I commented on how awesome it was, and he he basically told us, it's the video game industry, baby. You can wear whatever you yeah. want. <laughs> so we, we ate breakfast with him. It was awesome. And then we went with him to kind of the first thing of that day, which was, it wasn't early. It was like gamer early. It was about 11, 11 p.m. <laughs> yeah, or a.m. It was like 10, 30, 11 or something that morning. Yeah, it was a it was a keynote from uh, my.com, which is the publisher for both Armored Warfare and for Skyforge. Uh, they're actually a huge company that does a ton of other stuff, and that was mostly their introduction, which is saying, "Hey, we're a big Russian company that does all this stuff. Also, these games. Check out these games." And then we heard from uh, the Skyforge guys talking about Skyforge and all of the really cool stats. What they, they showed off one. I'm not going to talk about the others because I don't know if they really want us to tell them that kind of thing. I don't know if those numbers are in the wild. However, there was the most played uh, from June when the game went into closed beta. The the guy had six. Do you remember the number it was? I know it was in like the fourteen hundreds of play hours. It was um, it was more time than I think I spent in my six years playing WoW. And just to put that in perspective, yeah. I played a lot of WoW. It was no, he is exaggerating. I know you played way so, more than me. Uh, the the top one player <laughs> who is currently on Skyforge, like his total amount played is 1,438 hours, which That's totals crazy. out to almost 60 days worth of playtime in three months that the game has been released. I think he's cheating. Yeah, it's crazy. He's cheating. <laughs> well, there there is some things that we learned about Armored Warfare, like I said, that we cannot talk about yet. We have an embargo until the 28th. So there'll be a video going up on that. However, uh, Aaron, who's the producer at Skyforge, did um, talk about the game a bit. We got to chat with him. He's kind of been our main contact. And he 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 was talking about the Halloween event that just came up and how he when he entered the studio, those are the kind of events that he wanted to do. And this is kind of like the result of his work. Well, there's also, we could say that there's a Christmas event coming up that's going to be fairly similar to this Halloween one that they're currently working on. So I don't I don't know about you, Six, but I'm looking forward to that because this Halloween yeah, event is pretty freaking rad. Yeah, considering how the other events were pretty not good. <laughs> this is a really good change, and I'm liking the Halloween one so far, at least what I've played of it. So I, it's going in the right direction, yeah. that's for sure. Is yeah, and it, it was term, pretty not good. Pretty not good. Pretty not yep. good. Well, it's he just even okay, said, gold. when we said, hey, Reddit didn't really like the past two events that you guys put on, <laughs> Aaron was just like, yes, absolutely. I told them that was going to happen. It's cool. So it's, it's good that they're being transparent about that at the very least. But from there, we went and actually played Armored Warfare for the first time for any of us. I was going to download it beforehand because it went on to open beta at the beginning of this month. But uh, I never got a chance to because I was making those uh, Skyforge guides. So I just never had any time. 
So that was the first time we ever played the game. First impressions, what did you guys think about Armored Warfare? I mean, it was pretty strong. The, I mean, f- first time hands-on ever, I could kind of immediately feel kind of what the combat was like and yeah. the kind of one death me- one death mechanic makes it uh very intense like every engagement counts in that sense so it's like it's very tense um and i guess just because it was demo stuff we kind of got thrown in kind of late in the yeah. game um so it wasn't really set up for like directly new players but we got to play around with a couple of the modes and stuff and um, I mean, I personally think it's a very cool and very interesting way to do it, but I really don't have much of a frame of reference. I mean, I don't know if it's very similar to kind of World of Tanks stuff. Um, it's a lot it's definitely faster. An interesting form. Yeah, it's definitely an interesting form of competition and combat that they have going on this particular armored warfare front. Yeah, what do you think of it, Six? Well, I'm also in the same boat where I never played... Um, World of Tanks either, so I didn't have any reference at all as well. But I must say, the first thing that I noticed, as soon as I got into the tank and I fired my first shot, I was like, oh, that felt great. <laughs> it does feel it was, good. It was it's a very really, satisfying. Yeah, it was. Uh, that's what we were saying, that it was really satisfying to f- just be in the tank and fire your weapons. It felt right, and it felt really awesome. And it played well, it, it ran I well, think- so... I enjoyed it. I think during the press event, the one of the one of the guys who was per- talking about Armor Warfare, I forget his name, uh, but he was he was saying that was what we wanted. We wanted people to feel like a badass in a tank, pretty much. And that, yeah. like, as soon as we started playing it, that's kind of what it conveyed. Was that, like it felt very much like being in the tank. I mean, they hit a lot of like the, you know, actual specifications and look and feel just like dead on yeah oh, right. absolutely. that'll definitely show up later when we talk a little bit about what we did in the, during the rest of the day i mean this entire time in the background they're going to be seeing this footage they, they'll they'll get it right they'll get like oh this is they, they'll see what this game is like so we don't really necessarily have to go into too deep of detail however uh without you know spoiling the stuff that we're going to talk about on the 28th i do want to say that uh, the next thing that was going to happen during this part was we were going to uh, do, well, I I guess the press, right? Because we're technically not press, we're YouTubers, and, you know, we know our place. But the the press were going to do their interviews with the dev teams and everything. So our thing was like, well, we don't really want to set up any interviews. We just kind of want to sit down and play the game, because that's that's what we do, you know, we play games. So we uh, got up for a brief moment. We went and found the t-shirts uh they gave some awesome armored warfare t-shirts and we got those uh, went up to our room and that was when we were very surprised to oh. find a nice backpack sitting on our beds which all three of us had the exact same reaction where we walked in the room and went room service left a crazy good backpack on this bed but it was at that point that we then all opened it up probably around the exact same time uh, since we all had different rooms and discovered some really cool goodies now it is in both videos, I will put pictures to all these awesome goodies that we got, high-res pictures. Um, but we got a really nice 3D-printed figure from Skyforge, uh, an ammo box that contained a couple really cool nifty, like a, a multi-tool binoculars, a tactical flashlight, a cool coin that on both sides has a uh, Skyforge thing and then an Armored Warfare thing, uh, plus a backpack and something really nice. Right? Yeah, yeah, and their launch dates and everything. It was cool. Uh, So that was just like some of the swag we got. But we were really surprised by that. Um, That aside, we we then went back downstairs to go play more of the game, knowing that everybody was going to be doing their interviews. To our surprise from that, though, is that all of the devs for the Armored Warfare team, at least most of the main devs, were sitting there playing the game. So we ended up sitting down, playing with them, which was really fun, getting wrecked in some cases, Um, but at least we were having competition within each other because we weren't always on the same team. But the funny thing is, is we got to sit there and chat with the devs for like a good hour to two hours uh, before we had uh, lunch-ish. It was kind of, it was like a really late lunch. But uh, what, without giving anything away, what did you guys think about being able to do that as, you know, as someone, especially you guys who've, who've never done anything like that before? 
are you talking like being able to talk to the just devs chat. or just yeah i mean i hope that it, they definitely appreciate like uh more candor and stuff that we can kind of provide and i know we talked a little bit about you know the difference between us and like the the you know like standard gaming media and stuff but it is just like really nice to like sit down and like actually talk like hard video game shop with somebody you know like asking questions specifically about mechanics and stuff related to you know what we're what we're seeing on the screen like and you talked mm-hmm. a lot about like the ui elements and, and stuff like that being able to like have that conversation with somebody and not have to like explain each term individually and have them you know, know exactly what you're talking about and, you know, giving that feedback, I feel like it's important as them, you know, hearing it because I mean, that's what we are at the end of the day, right? We're all gamers. And so that yeah. we're, we're looking for these things because like we know what we have fun with. So we would expect to see it in another game that we want to have fun with that kind of thing. Yeah. I think to some degree it was like no holds bar there. Like, we had feed we were talking about it when we were like looking at the backpacks and everything like the feedback on the game that we were already getting just initially from playing it that first time um but despite them flying us out and putting us in nice hotel rooms and like feeding us and everything we didn't really hold back with a lot of our feedback granted it wasn't super negative but it was just like nitpicky things and i think regardless they were very appreciative of that whole thing we'll talk more about that in the video on the 28th however six we then had that lunch uh and we met james davenport uh, who worked for what company was it pc gamer yes woo, woo, woo. it was awesome We're it was awesome for everyone. us for official reasons because we've never well, like we read a lot of pc gamer uh just individually we get a lot of oh, yeah. really cool news from them however you know, meeting one of their... He's hes a newer guy at the company, but meeting one of their own people, despite it being actually surprisingly a small company. Did they say like five or six people were in the U.S. team up in San Francisco? Something like that. Yeah, I think he said something. Like yeah. But it was cool meeting him. Uh, he's super rad. So we have a business contact there. And I think the funniest part about that was as soon as we said, like, oh, you work for a PC gamer... You know, that's really cool. And he says, you know, what, what, oh, what do you guys do? And we're like, oh, we're YouTubers. And he's like, I got to I got to connect with you guys. You guys with the new the new hotness. And, you know, you're you're kind of like the thing that's taking over at the moment. Uh, it was it was really cool to, to meet him. And we ended up hanging out with him relatively uh, quite a bit throughout the rest of that day. Which was really cool. I don't mean to gush, cool. but I think the best part of all that is that he and I both <laughs> like Dark Souls. Oh, here we yeah, go. You guys had a moment. A lot. I mean, it was so. It was cute. Praise the sun, James. <laughs> Anyways, moving on with our lives. Uh, so it was from then that or we got to do it? the thing that would make most nerds jealous. We got to go directly to Obsidian Entertainment and take a massive, uh, like, exploratory thing. Like, I wouldn't call it. Gosh, what what would you call that? I wouldn't call it like a. a- I, I don't tour. know. Tour. Yeah. No, it wasn't a tour, <laughs> though. It wasn't a it tour. It was a tour. It was more than yes, that. It was. it was more than that to me. Because to me, I was seeing gaming history. It, you pilgrimage? Know, you, a pilgrimage. A pilgrimage. Yes. Yes. That's a, pilgrimage. a good word. It was a pilgrimage. Uh, I'll put some more photos up. But if you guys don't know who Obsidian is, shame on you. Uh, especially if you've come to the channel for Star Wars stuff in particular. Because they are... The first game ever was KOTOR 2, which most people regard as the best KOTOR. Let's just let's just throw that out there. I mean, it may make some people angry. Best of the two. But it was it was definitely the best one. They also did Neverwinter Nights 2. Uh, they did Alpha Protocol. It's, it's not, let's not talk about that. I didn't like Alpha Protocol. But uh-huh. then they did uh, Fallout New Vegas. Uh, more probably importantly, they did that. And then most recently, they uh. did Pillars of Eternity with their Kickstarter and all that. South Park. Oh yeah, close and they to my Stick heart. Of Truth. Yeah, that oh, close that tiny heart, indie game nobody ever played. <laughs> needless, to, needless to say, it was emotional for all of us. Uh, yeah, when got I a lot s- of pictures. Uh, when I saw that South Park poster signed by everybody, I shed a manly tear. I shed a manly tear. You did. Yeah, you were. You had a huge South Park boner. 
There that was also good. that uh, that like thing of all the bottle caps that that kid sent in the 862 oh, bottle man. caps saying like what could I buy with these breaks my heart <laughs> breaks my heart it was so breaks cool all of my hearts anyway so we got to go throughout the studio I won't talk about all of the cool armored warfare stuff once again we're gonna save that for the armored warfare video but more specifically we got to just kind of meet. Uh, some of the devs there's over 100 people working on armored warfare so they've massively expanded their team uh, just from doing armored warfare since 2013 i think they said 2012 2012 and overall like it was just really cool going throughout the studio i've been to game studios before uh this was definitely a really unique experience for me because of the whole kotor thing and just like them making most of the rpgs that i played while growing up but we met like the CEO. We met like a lot of the main producers at the company. And from there, I would say like, oh, it was, you know, it was just we went back and we never saw Obsidian again. But they, <laughs> they did come with us. They they all got on a boat with us. Uh, and I'm not joking when I said a boat. It was a three story party boat. Uh, technically four stories because it had a like a roof that you could go up onto and like look off of the boat. Um but it was just amazing. So for the rest of the night, we just hung out on this boat. There was a crazy rock band named uh, Kiven. Kiven. It's uh, K-I-V-E-N. So you can go to K-I-V-E-N music.com. Really good, actually. We saw that really band. Good, um, yeah. They were having fun. We were having fun. Uh, we were really enjoying it. In fact, there was a really cool moment with that where the lead singer, they were about to start one of their songs. And they said, Is, does anybody play guitar? And one of the U.S. guys said, you know, like I do. And he said, well, we'll need you in about four minutes. They go through the entire song to get to the end. And they bring him up and they just say, like, it's look, it's B flat. You just go ahead and play it's the B song. Minor. Oh, B minor, whatever. <laughs> and he just goes ahead and just like solos over the bassist, the other guitarist and the drummer, while this main singer and guitarist like took a break and just like sat down and then like went behind on the drum kit. and was like banging on one of the toms. It was rad. It was really, really cool. It was a lot of fun entertainment. Yeah, he was ripping it up. He, he really was. He was shredding. He was he was quite good. Uh, so yeah, we got we got to go on a boat. Uh, I'll post a minor picture of that boat. Uh, we ate dinner there, and we spent most of the rest of the night there before heading back to the hotel and just passing the hell out because we were all just freaking exhausted after that day. Oh yeah, I was on information overload. I don't know how you guys were. I know you guys looked tired. Six, I know you just like oh, passed out geez. pretty much like on the on the bus on the way back. It was quite funny. Going into the past is not good for me. I, I like it in the future on no, the East yeah. Coast. <laughs> yeah, going three hours behind was really hard for you. <laughs> but I, I know I, I just passed out like as soon as we got to the hotel. Um, we definitely made sure to, you know, hang out with with people I, I said thank you to all the people who flew us out there and more thank you notes are have gone out by this point but i i think it was just really cool to like that entire day it was like a it was like a nerd pilgrimage i think that was the perfect word for that because the next morning we woke up we ate breakfast we all headed to the um the airport at the same time and our flights left roughly around the same time what was it i said to you before we left uh alex before you walked away you tweeted it out <laughs> i don't quite remember how i That's put it I tweeted it, but basically you told me I stood up and <laughs> you told me take off your glasses that were hanging like on my chest. Like I had them yeah. folded up on my chest. And you said, take off your sunglasses. I don't want to crush them when I hug you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was and that was that was the final goodbye there. I, I was telling when you left, I was telling six that I should have had piano music queued up like sad piano music as you <laughs> walked away. The scrubs. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, and then we flew back, and I know that the flights were fairly uneventful, so we won't really go into that. But uh, we're home now. We are super excited for the future because we are getting to do this, um, this uh, rather, Armor Warfare video. Uh, and in the future, I really hope to do more events with Mai because they've, they've just been fantastic to us. In fact, they were fantastic to everybody who ended up coming out. Uh, I know awesome it costs fun. a lot of money to get us out there. But holy cow, like, think about it. Like, our flights were fairly expensive. Let's not go into numbers, but they were fairly expensive. Could you imagine some of those international flights that they paid for? Like, that's nuts. Right. So, uh, they're just an amazing company. I really, honestly, you guys, I'll have you speak to this in a moment, but I don't feel any, like, uh, sway from doing this. Like, if 
if they sent us out here, I'm not going to be like, oh, they did all this nice things, so I can't say bad things about their game. Like, that's not going to be the case. I don't ever feel motivated to do that. Uh, it's just the way that I work. I don't know how you guys work. Do you, do you feel like that you were uh, made, like, put on their side or whatever from doing this event? Well... I kind of had, because I had played Skyforge before, so I had played, you know, one of their major games, that it didn't really sway me on that, but I did get good insight on where the game is headed, so at least I have, you know, high hopes on, you know, that game succeeding. Uh, Right. But as far as Armored Warfare, I had really not had any exposure to it before, but it just really brought it to light for me and just showed me how good of a game that it has the potential to be, so it didn't sway me at all, but I just... I really am looking forward to how it turns out. Are you biased there? I, I mean, do, <laughs> do you feel any bias towards the game? Not really. From that, it just kind of okay. Just opened me up to the potential of the game, but it didn't really make me biased at all. What about you? Do you feel any any bias? Uh, so no opinion is free of bias, right? But um, right. from. From all my years of playing games, I'd like to think that for the most part, I'm pretty unswayed by by swag bags and stuff, and you know, being <laughs> treated nice and everything. It's like not that I don't appreciate those things. Like, I'm very appreciative that my.com, you know, managed to get us all out there and you know provide all these great things for us and and stuff. But uh, at the end of the day, right? It, you know, we said it once, we'll say it again. We're gamers. That's why we're on YouTube and not you know writing down review somewhere on a different website and we're we're out here to judge it on whether or not it's fun whether or not we think it's good whether or not we think it fits within the scheme of how gaming works for us and how it should work for other people so i will i I will say no i imagine maybe somewhere deep down there's a tinge of but man that backpack was cool but (laughs) yeah i think i think for the most part no I'd like to I'd like to believe that we will we judge it based on, you know, how much fun we're actually having with it and not so much, you know, kind of what we saw and what we did out there. Right. And I think that's the way they would want it too. I think that is yeah, I think you're right. I and this is something that has been really big in our industry lately, that that issue of biasness and being like flown out to these events and like are you biased at the game? But I think at the end of the day, it first of all it doesn't matter because we're not reviewers we're not reviewing a game um sure we critique games but we never review them uh if a game is fun to us we're gonna play it and if if we like the game it's gonna go on the channel that's just how it is nobody's gonna buy a spot on our channel because it's really crowded with a lot of games already and for me in particular when people do this really nice thing i go oh thank you i feel like i'm Uh, making friends within the industry, that's for sure. But at no point am I going to go, man, I probably shouldn't say this thing about Arm and Warfare that we don't like. Like, we all hate the interface. It is just so busy, you know? And we're never going to make that stuff hidden. Yeah, like, we're never going to hide the fact that we don't like things about games because no game is perfect, and the developers understand that and realize that. So if, if anybody on the channel is concerned that we are now biased towards these games, that's not the case. When I signed up Believe to do me, the Skyforge guys, we would love guys. to sell out. Yeah, I know, right? We would love to get paid continuously for putting out videos and stuff. But I guarantee you, if we were selling out, you guys would know it. Yeah, I like that's that's the thing, isn't it? Like, I I got approached to do these Skyforge guides. I did them because I liked the game. If if you guys really want, I can take out portions of that email. I can't take out all of it because some of it is confidential stuff, but. It was basically me just saying, hey, I will check out the game, and if I like it, I may do guides. And the original person who contacted me was like, that's cool, I understand. And it was about a week later after we played the game, I was like, this game is amazing, we'll totally do guides. Um, And the same thing goes for Armored Warfare. I don't expect to do a massive series on the game, but I am going to cover it a bit because I, I ended up playing it, and I like it, and I think it's a really cool game, and it deserves a chance from everybody. And at the end of the day, that's not biased. That's just me liking a game and wanting it, wanting, like with every game that I do, you know, I want to share it with our channel and with our viewers because that's that's what we do. That's the, the heart of what we do. 
But I think that pretty much wraps up everything that we needed to talk about. The Armored Warfare video will be going up on the 28th. Uh, just briefly, what was, was just one thing? What was your one favorite thing from the event, starting with six? My one favorite event, just besides meeting you guys, that backpack, man. That backpack. You like that backpack? And okay. all the obsidian, all the people working there, all the things they said had. He said one. <laughs> All the figures. Uh, okay, maybe it was one. like three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about you? Uh, I think Obsidian tour. I think I think being able to tour a game studio and like really see, you know, how it was kind of done, like start to finish, kind of thing was the most interesting to me. I mean, we could have played Armor Warfare and all of this other stuff on our own, but you know. I, I think seeing seeing game studio is a very special experience and I think if anybody gets if anybody who loves video games should if they get the chance go and see one because it's you know one of those things that it's just like it's like a pilgrimage these you're like these people understand me wholly and completely and I can start up a conversation with any one of them and we'll be you know speaking the same language yeah uh I think for me in particular, I do not necessarily have that same experience as you guys. I have been to game studios before. Um, so I think it's really cool to definitely look at you guys and like watch your reactions when we were there because I, I know that feeling. I've been there before. But for me, like all of that was kind of lost upon me, aside from being able to go to Obsidian and really appreciate, like, oh, this is where a lot of my RPG roots come from. However, my favorite thing about the entire trip was Safari Jack Black. I know that's uh, it's not going to make a lot of sense telling people that, but there was one guy running around who was from their company who was all responsible for filming all the B-reel and stuff, and he looked like Jack Black on a safari, and it was the funniest thing. Anytime we saw him, we always cracked up, and uh, that is going to be burned into my memory. I really hope when we're going through the B-reel footage, I can find something from him because he's just, <laughs> he's good. We need a picture of that guy. That guy was amazing. Yeah, we do. Anyways, uh, with all that being said, though, I want to thank you guys for watching. It was a really cool event. Hopefully, we'll do more stuff in this, uh, like this in the future. And when we do stuff like this in the future, we'll actually record a series while we're down there. Unfortunately, we were just like totally booked out. We had no time to do anything like that. Uh, we did have time to watch uh, Zoolander, though. But besides that, we'll, 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 in the future, we'll, we'll record together. Um, but go ahead and say goodbye, guys. See you guys. It was an awesome time there. We'll see you later. Bye, everybody. Thanks to my.com and especially everybody out there who's watching this. You know, we couldn't have done it without them and without you guys. And we hope for more in the future. And with that being said, we shall see you guys next time.